Right. The old man and his sons. An old man had several sons who were constantly quarrelling with each other. Notwithstanding, he used every means in his power to persuade them to cease their contentions and to live in amity together. At last he had recourse to the following expedient. He ordered his sons to be called before him and a bundle of sticks to be brought and then commanded them to try if, with all their strength, any of them could break it. They all tried, but without effect, for the sticks being closely and compactly bound together, it was impossible for the force of man to break them. After this, the father ordered the bundle to be untied and gave a single stick to each of his sons, at the same time bidding them to try to break it. This they did with ease and soon snapped every stick asunder. The father then addressed them to this effect. O oh, my sons, behold the power of unity. For if you in like manner would but keep yourselves strictly conjoined in the hands of friendship, we would not be in the power of any mortal to hurt you. But when you are divided by quarrels and animosities, you fall prey to the weakest enemies application. A kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and the same holds good in all societies and corporations of men, from the constitution of the nation down to every little parochial vestry. Every private family should consider itself a little state in which the several members ought to be united by one common interest. Quarrels are either each beg your pardon quarrels with each other are as fatal to their welfare as factions are dangerous to the peace of the commonwealth but indeed the necessity of union and friendship extends itself to all kinds of relations in life and they conduce mightily to the advantage of those who cherish and cultivate them no enemy will dare to attack a body of men firmly attached to each other and will fear to offend one of the number, lest he should incur the resentment of the rest. But if they split into parties and are disunited by quarrels, every petty opponent will venture to attack them, and the whole fraternity will be liable to wrongs and violence. Mm. 